Hi all, welcome back to our new video for ASRS vehicle simulation modeling. So ASRS vehicle comes into the task executor. This is how the model will look at the end of our video. So we will be understanding step by step the way for modeling this ASRS and we will understand different properties for the ASRS vehicle which we are going to use for our simulation modeling. ASRS, the full form for ASRS is Automated Storage and Retrieval System. So basically this is used to transfer the material from the racks or the storage areas as per the schedule which is given to the ASRS. So it is going to bring the material. So basically this is used in large distribution centers, DCs, warehouses, where ASRS vehicle is used. So you can see this ASRS vehicle can move into the Z direction for lifting as well as it is going to move in the horizontal directions as well. So currently I have kept the capacity for ASRS as 5 that's the reason this ASRS is lifting five parts at a time and then it is going for unloading stations. So we have used here queues and you can see how it looks into the 3D environment. This is the racks we have used and the ASRS is taking box one by one from each of the warehouse and then it is moving to the end point where it is unloading into the queue and then it will again come out for loading from this warehouse. So let's begin the step-by-step -step modeling and understanding ASRS vehicles. Hey guys, welcome to the channel IF 4.0. This is Ajay. So this is our blank modeling background for our ASRS. So we'll begin with, we'll add source initially we'll make this source into arrival time as one second and then we'll bring this queue here we'll connect the source to the queue and we'll make this queue the capacity of 10 and then we will add two racks so rack comes into the warehousing area drag one of the rack here drag one of the rack here and then we'll drag ASRS system into the bit pane so this is the source this is the queue. Now this queue will transfer the material to these two racks based on round robin if applicable because we want material go into both of the warehouses. And then the output of the rack to the single queue and this queue is then connected to the sink. Now this ASRS needs to be center connected to these racks because we are going to pull the material from this rack so we are going to then make it use for transport now when I reset and run this it should run so you can see this ASR is taking one part at a time that's the reason the warehouse is filling at very rapid pace so if I make it slow you can see the visuals it is coming in and then it's going now we will look into the properties for ASRS. So we are having same statistic properties, throughputs, content, stay time. Then we have visual. Similarly, we can change this visual color as per our requirement. Then we are having the small window of ASRS properties for ASRS. It's nothing but first we are having for lift speed. Lift speed is basically the movement from base to some of the Z access distance then we have extension speed which is one meter per second so this is basically the horizontal movement you can see this one so this one is the extension speed initial lift height so initial lift height we can keep it basically it is on reset position so the reset lift height you can enter here whichever is required as per this capacity you can change it as per your requirement I have made it now 10 and it should lift 10 parts at a time and then only it should move out now. So you can see it is moving 10 parts. It is loading one part from this rack, one part from this rack and then only it will be leaving the area. 
then we have load time we have one load time you can enter these things as per requirement we have maximum speeds this is the traveling speeds from this top wire it is moving so those speeds and accelerations are entered here dispatcher strategy is same as of we had it for task another tax executors in the ports you can see the central port for rack 1 and rack 2 and then if and the triggers if you see at the bottom I'll again open this window and make this small because the trigger is not coming so again I'll keep this and I'll double click here and then I have triggers here and for triggers we are having all these properties and these properties we'll use when we are doing assignments so all of the properties are same as we are having it for another task executors which we have already learned in our previous videos the only different thing which we have for ASRS is this property window that's lift speed extension speeds and initial lift height so let me know if you have any difficulties for ASRS do comment in the video comment section so that I could answer your queries and in the next video we will be understanding travel networks travel networks are very interesting parts because they really do guide the traveling purpose so that's all for today's video do share subscribe to our channel and do let us know if any improvements are needed because your inputs are very important for us to grow thank you we'll meet in next video till then take care have a nice day bye